Welcome to the International School of Business. My name is Miriam Swan and I'm a lecturer and study career coach here at Han. Let's go inside. The International School of Business is a renowned part of the Han University of Applied Sciences. We provide high quality education in an international setting in close collaboration with our partner universities and the partners from the international business community. We train you to become that global citizen that can succeed in any business setting. Are you someone who can adapt quickly to new environments and feel at home? Are you someone who can deal with cultural differences? Are you someone who speaks several languages? Are you someone who understands how the world is connected from a business perspective? And are you someone who understands that your action affects people, planet and profit? Then let's open up your horizon to becoming a global citizen. And let me tell you about the Han and the studies that you will pursue here at the International School of Business. Something that we are really proud of here at the International School of Business is that the focus lies on you. There is an enormous amount of student support available for you throughout your studies. You work in small groups with a maximum of four or five students and you do project work with them. There is a student mentor and a study career coach available for you throughout your whole studies. We are very proud of our study house, built on a solid foundation the first year. As you can see, the first year is divided in two semesters or clusters, and each cluster has two periods. Every period you see that two main subjects are part of your program. Supportive to these two main subjects is personal and professional development, English and in the first cluster also intercultural awareness and problem solving and decision making. In the second cluster you choose your second foreign language. You will keep this language until the end of C cluster and you are also able to choose it as an elective in the second part of your second year. In the second year we have divided the year into two main topics, business and communication and people and communication. In each cluster, you will have two big projects. And the good news is for real life clients. So you are actually going to help a company get further with your communication advice. Again, English is one of the main subjects to support it and you will have your second language in the first part of the second year. Also, personal and professional development is still a key part of your studies. In this second year, we will focus, for instance, on group dynamics or advising skills. At the end of the second year, there is an integrated test. And this test is meant for you to see what have I done in the past two years, where am I now, and how do I look at the third year? One of those projects for a real client is the digital magazine. As you can see here, the digital magazine is a real magazine. And we are very proud of our students that they are able to produce such a magazine at the beginning of their second year. And as you can imagine, if you see the quality of this magazine, the client was very, very satisfied. Now let's move on to the third year. This is actually one of the most exciting years that you will have during your studies here, because you will leave the Han and start opening up your horizon. First, there is your study abroad. Uh, we have over 100 partner universities where you can choose to study, and they are located all over the world. After your study abroad, you will do your internship at a company putting into practice what you have learned in the past years. So you can imagine that's really like the cherry on the cake for your studies. After you come back, you will start preparing yourself for your final achievement, and that is graduation. In the first part of the fourth year, we will have a 
big project again for a real client on which you will work for the whole semester. During that semester, you will have supportive subjects that are directly related to the project, like developing a research proposal, creative communication, campaign calculation, and content-based visual communication, all in order to make your project a success. Besides that, you have six modules that can be partly supportive to the project, but are also focusing again on personal and professional development. When you finish that first part of your fourth year, you will be ready to graduate. Because after three and a half years of studying, traveling, seeing businesses from the inside out, giving advice, you are ready to do it on your own. Which means that it is a solo project for half a year at an international company and at the end you will advise them on a specific topic. A very exciting last semester but also very rewarding because at the end you are a Bachelor of Arts in Communication. One of the main focuses during your whole study is internationalization and it happens here at Han which means that from day one you will be fully immersed into an English taught program. All your fellow students who come from all over the world, over 65 nationalities are studying here, will discuss with you in English. Um, during your studies you also acquire knowledge about a second language that can be French or German, Spanish or Dutch. Um, not only the students come from many different countries, but our staff is also very international. That means that it's not only Dutch people teaching international students, but international teachers teaching international students. A lot of group work is done during your studies, and you will work with different cultures in a small group. You can imagine that that's a really good place to learn how cultural diversity works and how important it is to be able to work with different cultures. Sometimes it's a struggle, but most of the times it's very rewarding. At the International School of Business, we take pride in the three culture principle. What does that mean? That means that when you graduate, you will have lived in three different cultures for a minimum of six months. When you come from outside the Netherlands, the Netherlands is already a second culture. And then during your study abroad or your internship or your graduation assignment, you are able to travel outside the Netherlands and of course not to your home country. When you're a Dutch student, that means that you study in the Netherlands, you come from the Netherlands, so two semesters should be spent abroad. A very, very exciting part of your studies. And then you're graduated. So what are the career opportunities for you? After you graduate, you will probably have a lot of options. What do you think, for instance, about becoming a sustainable marketeer or a public relations consultant, a big data analyst or an event coordinator or a content manager? There are many, many jobs that you can choose from. And to be honest, maybe the job that you will fulfill after you graduate hasn't been invented yet because that's how fast communication is going at this moment. Or you can pursue your master's degree. There are many good international masters available in the Netherlands and worldwide. So what are the admission requirements? Well, first of all, you need to have a secondary school diploma, which gives you entrance to higher education. Also, you need to do a course selection check, which is mandatory for all students. And for the international students, we require an ILTS score of 6.0 or a TOEFL score of 80. Creating a community feeling is very important for us. That's why we have founded the ISB community. You can think, for instance, about a photography club or a debating club. We also organize weekly sports events like basketball, volleyball and soccer. We also have a social media team that takes care of all our channels, so make sure to check out our social channels. 
Um, there's also a communications team where you can be part of. So the community is made by students for students and it's a really, really nice place to be. I want to thank you for your attention and I really hope to see you someday here in Arnhem. Thank you.